This video will take you through the steps for evaluation of the program impact on providers' behavior in relation to tablet-based data collection. The overall goal of the study is to assess the impact of the PSI intervention on the provider behavior in the PBCC project. This figure shows the flow of data collection and transmission where all data is collected by the network coordinators in the field, stored in their tablets and transmitted online to the head office. The next few slides will show the working of the tablet in the field data collection for the PBCC evaluation. After switching on the tablet, clicking on the survey to go icon will open the login page. This can also be done on an Android-based mobile device. Enter the username and password using the on-screen keyboard. The screen displays the list of surveys that were compiled for the respective network coordinator. Clicking on the name of a survey will open the details of the survey. This lists the respondents along with the date and time of the data collection. Click Run to start a new survey. Enter the provider code of the network provider who is doing the survey. The next screen displays the survey questions one by one. The respondent can select the answer from the options displayed under each question. In an event, a respondent selects an incorrect answer. A message will be displayed indicating the correct answer. Selecting the correct answer will direct the respondent to the next question automatically. For our PBCC evaluation, we have a large database that includes about 200 questions. The software randomly picks up 10 questions for each respondent. The answers are automatically synchronized with the mother computer located in the head office. Validation programs are also encrypted within the program for this purpose. The next few slides will help you understand the sev several survey features for monitoring purposes. Clicking on the Survey to Go Studio icon on the desktop will direct you to the login screen. The username and password of the respective supervisor from the head office will be entered here. The next screen displays the features of the survey. The far left hand side of the screen shows the several features of the survey, including customers and projects, surveyors and groups, GPS tracking, library and so on. Clicking on the customers and projects displays the names of the projects for which the surveys were done. Clicking on the individual project will further open a list of options useful for the supervisors for monitoring of the project activities. The project name icon will lead you to the surveys and surveyor data. Click on the PSI PBCC, that is the name of the survey, to view the details. This will display the list of questions stored in the database on the left side of the screen. For the PBCC evaluation, there are almost 200 questions encrypted into the survey program. Clicking on the surveyor's icon under the respective project name will open a list of the names of surveyors or the network coordinators. According to the number of network coordinators, we will generate the username and password. 
you can create a new surveyor as a group or as an individual. Clicking on the operations icon will open the details of the data synchronized from the surveys. It will display the observation status, date when data was uploaded along with list of the name of surveyors. To monitor the progress of a particular surveyor, click on the name under surveyors tab and select the mode from the drop down menu to select the type of view. Click on get to display the data. A list of surveys conducted will be displayed along with the time and date of uploading the data. Update the record. Click on Update Status. The last date when the surveyor visited the site is also displayed. To view the collected data and to create tables, click on Collected Data Items from the menu on the left hand side. You can export the survey responses by selecting export results and clicking the export icon. The next screen displays the name of the surveys. To initiate export, click on next. Data may be exported in various formats, including Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, SPSS, among several others. Select the type of format and click Next. We will demonstrate the data export to SPSS for the PBCC evaluation. Select the destination folder and create the file following the instructions on the screen. You can access the file directly by opening the destination folder on your own computer. In our example, we exported the data as an SPSS file to the desktop. Open the file to view the data. The data is exported with both the variable names as well as the value set. The data sheet contains all the surveyor information that was synchronized. This includes the date, time, and survey responses to the respective question. This way, real-time results can also be analyzed on a daily basis and graphs may be produced. Going back to the menu in the survey window, there's also an option for GPS tracking only if the tablets are GPS enabled. To view the latest locations of the survey activity, click on Latest Locations. The location of the activity may be displayed by the surveyor group or by individual user. Click on Get Latest Location icon to view the locations on an interactive map. This activity was tested at the PSI head office 
using a mobile based interface. Therefore, it displays the head office location on the map. The location also includes the date and time of the last survey. This map may be viewed in two-dimensional, three-dimensional, road, as well as the aerial view. With so many features of the tab, we plan to incorporate this into our future projects. These may include the Cervical Cancer Program, the ISMP Project, the Ujjayi Project, and so on. Along with the inbuilt features of the tablet, we have an in-house capacity to develop surveys and monitoring systems for both Windows and Android-based operating systems. We use the ODK, CS Pro, and such sensor survey processing systems. Thank you.